Hello, my name is Ilona and it's Tuesday, November 29th, 2022 and I have decided to look at the energy of the Netherlands, Belgium and Germany. I saw this morning an article in the Netherlands that apparently the minister, the minister of sports, the sports minister, Connie Helder, was actually debating yesterday evening, that's her job, but she had to leave early because she had to go to the World Cup in Qatar. Very interesting that something like that is coming out because obviously it's not, eh, she's not supposed to do her job or anything. It's time for her to party in Qatar. But I thought that was very interesting and also that well, she couldn't wait till today to leave for Qatar. She had to do that yesterday evening, especially when she was actually up to talk about things and to answer questions. So it's, it's a bit strange that that actually came up, but I thought that was quite interesting. So I looked at the Netherlands first and the cards I got was the Eight of Wands. The central card was the King of Wands. The card in the past was the Hanged Man. Underneath the King of, Sword, uh, King of Wands was the Three of Swords. And for the near future for the Netherlands, we have the Two of Wands and the Nine of Swords. So that's quite interesting. This to me tells me that the White Hats are taking over more and more, especially with the King of uh, Wands and something like what happened in the article, of course, the sports minister taking off in a plane to Qatar when she's supposed to answer questions. It's, it's, it's strange. Let's just... Uh, look at it that way. Very strange that it would come up today, or at least I mean that she would have to do that on the same evening that a debate is going on. She could have waited a day or two or something like that. But anyway, I think more and more of those things are going to come out. More scandals are going to come out, more... Uh, it's just going very fast, especially with this. The Eight of Wands is about fast, things happening fast. So old pains will come out, and that's the three of swords about old pains, things that need to be healed, uh, things that people will see that that's not right, something's wrong, uh, the system is not, you know, something's wrong going on, what's going on with the system. There was also an article about that the Dutch were uh, actually uh, the highest number of refusals to get another wasp sting. So there are a lot of Dutch people now who do not want another wasp sting and are refusing to take more stings. So I see that as a very good sign and I think more and more things are going to come out about that. But we do have a period ahead of us. There is still a, a large group of people in the Netherlands who just don't see things, are a bit apathetic. What, what is it, right? It's, it's a bit about um, apathy. That's the word I'm looking for. It's more like, oh, well, well, we'll be fine. We'll just do what's being told, you know, that we need to get people out of that energy. And that's, there's going to be stress. We have uh, prices. We have, of course, with the fuel. There are so many things going on right now here in the Netherlands and, of course, in Europe, just generally. A lot of people are freaking out. We've got the, uh, you know, you have the Christmas coming up, uh, Sinterklaas, which we have in the Netherlands on uh, December 5th. Those are celebrations because the celebration month is coming up. And I think a lot of people are stressed out, are not making ends meet anymore and are, you know, waking up because of that. So I do think we are heading towards more stress. I think things are going to come out that will be very stressful for people, especially when they're not you know, in the know or not really looking at things, especially for the people that are still following the media. I think there are more and more shocking things are going to happen. And I think that the White Hats are working towards that. And it's going to go, it's going to be fast. A lot of things are going to come in. So I think there are going to be very interesting conversations with the uh, celebrations coming up. But especially old pain. It's very important that people are facing that old pain. So that's the Netherlands. Then I also, uh, next card reading is for Belgium. And there were, it was very interesting. I had to shuffle a lot. I've shoveled in the uh, Dutch video. 
And I got two of the same cards from the Dutch card reading. I find that very interesting. So there's a theme going on. And the first card I got was, again, the Three of Swords. So this is a very important card. Apparently an important theme right now. The central card for Belgium is the Two of Swords. The moon is in the past. Underneath the central card is the Nine of Swords. And for the near future, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Cups, which is of more healing energy, especially compared to the Dutch energy for the near future. That's more shocking and more stressful. But for the Belgium energy, there is more uh, healing coming in. But right now, it is quite stressful for a lot of people, especially with like three swords cards. We have, again, the Nine of Swords, which is about stress, about, in a way, waking up. People are not completely connected with their intuition yet. We have this blindfold, so people don't know what's really going on. Old pain is coming up. This is really the theme for, uh, I think, just general, the energy that's going around now. I've noticed it myself, all these old pains coming up. They want to be healed. They want you, you know, to uh, acknowledge them and to deal with them. And I do think in Belgium, a lot of things are happening, especially with all things are coming up. Stress, but there is a healing energy as well. This is about uh, health. This is about healing. And I think it's, it's very important that that's happening. So I have a feeling, especially compared to the Dutch card reading, that it's going to be more a healing for the Belgians, I think they're for Belgium and for the people in Belgium, and it's going to be more of a smoother transition, so to speak. That's the feeling I'm getting. It's almost like with the Netherlands, it's more abrupt, it's more uh, forceful, so to speak. But right now, there's a lot of uh, people still in Belgium have no idea what exactly is going on. I'm sure there are a lot of people are waking up. But there is a more of a healing energy to face old pains, to deal with what's going on, what's happening. And uh, I think that is very important. And of course, the last card reading I did was for Germany. And again, this was very interesting. This card popped up again. So this is really the theme just in general in all these card readings. The first card I got with Germany, and I also uh, shared a clip on my Telegram channel this morning. Again, they're doing uh, getting together, I think it's on Monday nights. In a lot of cities across Germany, they're getting together to just stand up against what's going on. So I do feel there's so much change going on there. And they've got the strength card. The central card is the emperor. In the past, we have the Magician. Underneath the Emperor, we have the Six of Cups. And for the near future, the future, we have the Three of, of Swords again and the Eight of Cups. This is dealing with old pains and moving away from it. I do believe Germany is stepping away from this. I believe Germany already is pretty much taken over by the White Hats, by the military. I do believe a lot of things have been happening there. They're moving away from NATO. They're moving away from uh, the European Union. And I have a feeling that when they go, then the Netherlands will follow. So I think that's why things are happening. And that's why the, the Netherlands also have a central card from the White Hats. I do believe they're both White Hats. The Emperor is more military and the uh, King of wants is the white hats but of course the militaries are part of the white hats so i believe that in germany a lot of things have already changed they are more in their strength a lot of things about children are going to come up more and more also in germany this is about facing old pains these things that have happened people need to see it people need to heal it also in themselves very important because if you don't know how to deal with your own skeletons, if you don't know how to deal with your own shadow side, that's going to be an issue later on, obviously, especially with all the energies changing. And uh, I do believe that we are now more and more capable because of the energy changing, because we are changing, we start manifesting faster as well. And if you don't deal with all these old things that you still carry with you, it can be very... Uh, Let's just say you can start manifesting things you don't really want to manifest. So it's very important to deal with these pains 
anger, frustration, fear. But in the in Germany and I believe in Belgium and in the Netherlands, it's all about dealing with this old pain and wouldn't surprise me at all if it's of course worldwide what's happening in the energy. But it's very interesting, this card actually pops up in all the readings I'm doing in this video because I really shuffled quite well, I have to say. So it's interesting that the same card is popping up and that ha that happens sometimes when the same energy is present everywhere and we are really dealing with all these old pains and it's very important that we deal with it. But in Germany, they are moving away from this. They are moving away from this corrupt system. Wouldn't surprise me if they already aligned themselves with the BRICS, you know, the countries with the new uh, financial system. And they are really moving away and that will be a big blow for the European Union and the NATO. But I do believe that are pretty much are falling apart anyway. But it's really starting and I do believe if Germany starts then the Netherlands will follow and of course Belgium will follow as well and the rest of Europe. I think it's a very important start but I do believe in Germany that uh, it's not present yet but in the background the military has taken over most control and it uh, wouldn't surprise me if a lot of people are uh, it, you know in the background already leaving certain positions and certain places but things need to come out people need to see people need to know so things will be coming out there as well so this is the card winning i did for uh, germany i'd like to leave it at this and i hope to see you in another video bye